Apple Knocker Radio. Oh, of course. Uh, right. So um, so earlier you mentioned when we, we first started talking, you mentioned the, the West being in decline, which I think is something that a lot of people sense. And, yeah. um, but with that comes kind of like, like all of these things that you're saying with your book. The question arises like who cares we're in decline anyway like it's all it's all ending anyway like that's i'm saying that's the feeling right this nihilism mm-hmm. that creeps yeah in. so like yeah. so like the question um comes like well why like who cares even if i do all of these things what does it matter like i i'm part of this decaying civilization and it's, right right it's falling apart anyway so yeah why would i try so hard like what would you say to someone yeah. who, who came to you with that question yeah, well, well, civilizations and societies uh, decay and die, that is true, but the people still remain. So, pharaonic Egypt is no more, the, you know, the glory days of pyramid building uh, is no more. They're not building any more pyramids, now they're tourist attractions, but the people are still there. Mm. And uh, the, same, the same, you know, China was the first uh, uh, civilization to invent writing. Um, had an incredible culture. Then it had the Cultural Revolution and destroyed its culture, uh, killed lots of people. Now they have a sort of authoritarian capitalist slash communist uh, uh, government and society, uh, which is probably not the the best one to live in uh, if you like freedom. Um, So the people remain even after there's a decline. And often, of course, um, it's not always the the case because uh, when there's a change from one type of uh, government to another you know people are done away with obviously but but very often the people in the old regime who are running the show uh, end up running the next one as well so mm. you know in the you know nazi you know not top nazi officials went all over the world and were instrumental in all kinds of you know governments and government programs uh, saying you know uh, some of them ended up in, in communist governments as well or you know former aristocrats in russia ended up high, with you know high higher positions in the communist government so you know uh, th- th- things things decline and things decay and and things uh, fall apart, but uh, things also continue, and we have to live in them. And um, the historian Arnold Toynbee said that civilizations are different to uh, sort of more tribal, quote unquote, primitive cultures. In one important respect, of course, there are other respects as well. But but he points out that the tribal primitive cultures. Um, they they look to the dead as the exemplars, and what the dead say is what goes. So they they look to the ancestors. They want to replicate the traditions forever. Nothing must be changed. The ancestors are prayed to, and the ancestors are the example of the perfect human being. And so it just replicates forever, and there's no progress. Whereas in civilizations, you get the quote unquote creative minorities. Um, by minorities, he means uh, individuals of any you know ethnicity or race or whatever who come together and create something new, and they create these new ideas, and these ideas spread, and it r- revives or renews the civilization. And certainly in in Western um, in Western civilization, you, you can see there's a, there is this constant change of ideas, and now it's extremely fast in the political world. But, um, you know, um, when the West has been at its best and um, most important, it's a change that occurs in the cultural realm, so in the arts, in music, in the realm of spirituality, and, uh, and so on. And there's no reason why um, these creative minorities can't arise today or in the future uh, to inspire uh, new movements, new cultural movements or new spiritual movements that will be uplifting, not for everyone in society probably, but for a certain percentage of society. And, um, you know, sure, things are in decline, but at some point you have to make a choice. Are you going to go with the decline <laughs> or are you going to be one of the few who lives maybe not a life of luxury but an authentic life that is uh, the way that human beings are supposed to live and i would prefer to be one of those people so 